Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another reading. Yokai, Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes on mountaintops, in rivers and oceans, on city streets and every mega four building. Uh, every mega building four with a number four in it. Even in your washing machine or your info visor. Some appear in concrete places, while others simply haunt a specific person. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the desert. They're there when you feel someone's watching you, but there's not a soul in sight. They're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice. But you were just at the Ripper docks for your checkup. The Okai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, though closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, have been alive in Japanese consciousness from the very birth of animism. It's not that the Japanese believe in yokai. They simply know that the yokai exist. In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai also include a group of shape-shifting demons called Okabe or Bakemono. I'm guessing here. The Bakemono are said to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow or an animal. It's said that when a cat reaches her age, it becomes a Bakeneko. These yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak and dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. The Bakeneko sometimes visit people in their sleep, or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more, which is to exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a Nekomata, a yokai with shamanic and necromantic capabilities. It would place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a Nekomata resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or another, and with an eerie, disturbing air about her. However, let me assure the American readers of this book, today the most likely place you'll find a Bakaneko is in the form of Wookie Manakai Neko figurines. After all, real cats are an even rarer sight these days than your average yokai. I have no idea about the pronunciations. I do apologize. 